Our local community leader says the events of the past year have led to some new services that his organization is offering. AJ Bayapur joins us right now live with how both the protests and the pandemic sparked these changes. AJ. Yeah, George, everything that's happened over the last year, particularly a year ago on State Street, caused a number of people around here, especially black leaders, to reevaluate the way they've been doing things, and they say they really took notice of who was pushing hardest for a different way. At Mount Zion Baptist Church, Pastor Marcus Allen says service needs to go beyond Sunday. For both himself and State Representative Sheila Stubbs, one of their most vivid memories is young people leading many of last summer's demonstrations. Seeing how these young black females was leading the charge out front with these marches. It's a more stronger action in the piece that young people were just willing to demand that things happen within law enforcement, demand policy changes and structures and standards. And so we renovated the space back here. Allen says the trauma of watching video of police killings over the past year and the strain of the pandemic convinced him to bring in a therapist to offer free weekly counseling at the church for anyone who needs it. Since it's been a stigma for so long in our community, especially in the faith community, African-American faith community, that we don't need doctors, we don't need a therapist, uh, but we're providing that service right here at the church as to say it's all right to talk to somebody else. His next project is a studio in the church, a way of encouraging teens to tell their own stories. We want to build that up to be where we can do podcasts, where we can have, allow the children to do some journalism, have run their own shows. And Alan plans to transfer that studio to the new building for the church on the same site, which is set to begin construction next fall. Along those lines, he says he hopes the site of a state-of-the-art black-owned building will serve as another source of inspiration for a generation now looking for its own way to change society.